So this is the trail to the fall? Yes, one of the trails. There's another trail, it's longer, but it's uh, more interesting because it's over suspended bridges. Mm -hmm. and the next time we do that, and we're here by ourselves. The other one? There is another one? Yes. It is suspended because? <clears throat> suspended bridge over the uh, ravines, over, over the river itself. I've never been there, just heard about it. <laughs> I can hear the falls, the hush. <laughs> אתה תיקח אותו, כן, ואני אשלם עליו. Show you in the video? Uh, yeah, it's fine. So what can you say about the falls? Well, this is one of the most beautiful places anywhere in Israel. It's a waterfall that unlike most waterfalls in Israel never dries up. Mm -hmm. The water comes from underground, not from a river upstream. 
So that's why uh, all here you have a waterfall that is active. So it's one of the sources of the water here? Like is, uh, this is one of the, uh, the river that flows out of here, Banyas. Mm -hmm. It's one of the tributaries of the Jordan River along with Smir and uh, another river, I forgot its name at the moment. It's uh, okay. Yeah, this is the three rivers, one of the three rivers that make up the Jordan River. And this is basically where it starts. How oh, nice. So, Mount Hermon is near from here? Yes. This, uh, this is uh, water that uh, through underground aquifers flows down from Mount Hermon from the Melbourne Snows. Never been before, and I've been living here for 23, almost 24 years. Wow! Wow! Yeah, this is. Um, I didn't know Israel has something like like this. Um, well, this is uh, not very common for tourists in Israel to come here. Um, it's not part of standard itinerary that is all around the religious holy sites like uh, Nazareth and Jerusalem and everything. This is a, something for nature lovers, extreme tourists. And it's nice to try something new. to go to the local restaurant and try Drew's food. Drew's? Yeah. Can you tell me about Drew's? Drew's what are the are difference? interesting people. They are... They are Jewish also? They are not Jewish. They are, not they Jewish. are actually ethnic Arabs. Ethnic. They are converted to a different... their own religion sometime in the 12th century. They are very secretive. Most of their priests are women. So they believe in God? They believe in God. They believe in Moses, they believe in uh, many of the things from the Bible, but in their own way, their religion is very secretive, not all of it is actually known to outsiders, but they do not consider themselves Arabs or Muslim. Oh, all Christians? Yes. Most of their priests are women. They're men? Yes. And, uh, they live in this area, like northern Israel, Lebanon, Syria. Like, yeah. Quite a way back up, huh? <laughs> the Jews, most of the crews in Israel, they are very loyal to the country. What do you mean by loyal? In the sense of... They all do army service. The Jewish community they, elders uh, had, the had women? the women no, but all the men do army service. They were like uh, originally exempted huh? from the army, but the elders of the community decided that it was their duty to help the country. So. They serve like the, like the Jews serve. Lots of them are career officers, even generals. <laughs> yeah, out of breath, huh? Punga gagilong, samut. It is a lot of stairs. Okay. You want some water? What is that? What place? Is that this is the Golden Heights. Oh. Yeah. This is the Golden Heights. You see up here about in the news. Syrian border is very close to here. I think this is our next stop. Syria? Syria is to the northeast of Israel. I'm dying for some water. What does it mean? Well, it says the standard trail. 
then one. as the smell that goes through bridges over the river, over the place. That's, I think that's the start and the end of the, uh, of the trail, 45 minutes. If you are feeling about doing another 45 minutes of what we just did, then let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. 1967, the Syrians and the Egyptians attacked Israel. Jordania joined in, so Jordania lost Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. The Syrians lost the Golan Heights. And Golan Heights. Egypt lost the entire Sinai Peninsula for a decade. We are going to see Kunetra today. That's very interesting. What? Huh? We are going to see Kunetra. Kunetra. Kunetra is a Syrian city that's uh, near the Golan Heights. Uh, when the trail conquered the Golan Heights, the nation was completely abandoned. And the Syrians uh, claimed that Israel needs to return that part of the Golan Heights to Syria for humanitarian reasons so that the refugees could come back. Okay. Then Israel returned to Nitra, and the Syrians did not let the refugees come back and instead made it into a museum. What's the name of this place again? This is the temple of the Greek god Pan. Mm -hmm. What's the name? The Temple of the Pan? And then? He was a god of nature, he was half man, half goat, he used to play the flutes and drive animals crazy, that's why the word panic comes from the uh, pan. Mm -hmm. and so it's like the remains? Yes, this is the remains of the Greek temple that was built during the uh, of Alexander of Macedon. And 